morning. It's Friday, July 19th, 2019. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Measuring the Love of God. And our scripture is Ephesians chapter 3, where Paul writes, When I think of all this, I fall to my knees and pray to the Father, the Creator of everything in heaven and on earth. I pray that from His glorious unlimited resources, He will empower you with inner strength through His Spirit. Then Christ will make His home in your hearts as you trust Him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep His love is. May you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Now all glory to God who is able, through his mighty power at work within us, to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Glory to him in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations forever and ever. Amen. Did you ever have one of those moments when everything suddenly made sense? And you learned this because of a seminar, a book, somebody's advice, or a new app on your iPhone? (laughs) More than likely, those influences on your life have provided some helpful insights. But this was more than that. It was being knocked to your knees with an overwhelming sense of God's love pulling all the harshness of life into an understandable heap, tied up with the unfailing covenant string of grace. How can you measure something like that? Well, the Apostle Paul was an expert at being knocked to his knees. He was pursuing a career as a Jewish religious rock star, and Paul turned into a Christian-hating persecutor of Jesus. But on the road to Damascus, he met the one he was kicking against. And the thing that became most real under God's ultraviolet spotlight of loving salvation was the ugliness of how hardened his heart had become. Now that changed everything for Paul, including a name change from Saul to Paul and the direction of his life from church hater to church builder, lover of Christ, and the author of 14 of the New Testament's 27 books. It's amazing what a little knock-you-to-your-knees grace can accomplish. Now, I'm no Apostle Paul, but I've experienced a little of that. These days, it's more common, having gotten a lot older and a little wiser, I find it easier to recognize more of how much God's love has given me everything I am and have. And it's so much more than I could have dreamed or asked for. Well, I'm tempted to write out a list of all those blessings, but this is a four-minute devotion. And I've got more of a list than Hershey's has little chocolate kisses. But here's just a starter, looking at the height, depth, length, and width of the roots of God's love that I've recognized, which weave together the threads of my 70 plus years on this planet into a tapestry that makes more sense than the individual parts. First is stuff. Well, I've got way more than I need, and he's showing me how to share it better than I did with that favorite seat I had on the merry-go-round at school recess when I was a first grader. And then there's people. I've got a few friends that I know I could count on in any pinch and a host of brothers and sisters in this strange forever family of the church. And a mate, she's there for me like a mama bear if anyone so much as looks sideways at me. And she's tender as a baby fawn in my heart. And lastly, there's purpose. The thing that so many people have told me over the years is, I just wish I knew what it is God wants me to do. Frankly, I don't have that problem in my brain. I've realized I'm simply a man that God has blessed with an inner peace about how much he loves me. That peace is there because Jesus died my death on Calvary's cross. And that gift, a lovely indwelling of God's Holy Spirit, compels me to do for Christ what I can, where I am, with what he's put in my hand. That's my purpose for being here. And that, my beloved, is how I measure the love of God lighting up my world. For you today, 
Look around. His love is much bigger on you than you thought. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.